in. Happy June, happy almost June. We have another monthly reset today and I'm always looking forward to a new month. I feel like it's such a nice time just to reflect and make new goals for the new month and figure out where you want things to go. And so that is the theme of today's video. If you guys haven't watched these before, essentially it's just a time to kind of prep and plan for the new month. I was inspired to start doing these this year from my friend Carter Sullivan. She started this and I love her videos. She takes it as a time to kind of check in on her finances, plan her calendar all that jazz. And if anything, I like this to just be an inspiration to you to do this too and give you some ideas for how to reset for a new month. But also I think it's fun to kind of do together. You play this video while you're also kind of resetting for a new month. I think it's a really good time. For today specifically, we're gonna reflect on last month's goals and see how we did. We're gonna make some new goals for the new month, plan out my calendar, which includes my work calendar. And then also I have this physical calendar that I like to hang up, but I don't think I'm actually gonna hang this up because we are in this apartment for another week and then we move. So I'll just keep it and then hang it up in the new place. Like to do some budgeting. And for that, I don't actually show numbers, but I just set aside that time to kind of go through our finances, see what needs to be altered, what's gonna stay the same. Gonna do a digital clean, clean up my folders, my desktop, just to kind of start fresh. This is new for this month, but I also wanna make a list of household items that we're going to buy because we are moving in a week into a house and I'd like to get organized to see what we still need, what we have purchased and just get a little bit more specific in that area. I wanna prep for a bookkeeping meeting that we have with our accountant. We have those monthly, so I like to set aside this time to just go through my business expenses and get organized before that meeting. And then at the end, we'll finish off with some fun current favorites, which is kind of a newer segment I started doing, but it's fun just to reflect and see what things I've been enjoying and share them all with you guys. I, of course, think it's fun to always pour yourself a drink too. We have a nice little Olipop today. For all my planning and everything, I use Notion. I really enjoy it, but I always share this template because it's made it so much easier just to figure out Notion because I know when I first was trying to kind of mess around with it, I was so confused how it worked. It just felt like you could do everything, but at the same time, if you didn't know what you're doing, you can't really do anything, if that makes sense. And so I bought this template from Becca Watson here on YouTube. I'll have it linked down below. It's just an Etsy template and it's super easy to use, customize, and I really enjoy it. So I'll have that down below. I also wanted to share this quote. I've kind of been liking picking a quote for each month and I've been pretty active on Pinterest lately. I'll put my Pinterest right here if you want to follow me. I just share random stuff on there. I find it to be a really positive outlet. I know a lot of social media can be just overwhelming and not necessarily leave you feeling the best and so I really, really enjoy Pinterest lately. I find it to be very inspiring. The quote says, we bend. I bend to sweep the crumbs and I bend to pick up little ones and wipe away tears. And at the end of the day, I bend next to the bed and I ask only that I could bend more, bend lower because I serve a savior who came to be a servant. He lived bent low and bent down is where I see his face. He lived only to die. Could I die to self and just break open for love? The savior, his one purpose is to spend himself on behalf of messy us. Will I spend myself on behalf of those in front of me? And people say, don't you get tired? And yes, I do, but I'm face to face with Jesus in the dirt. And the more I bend, the harder but better and fuller this life gets. And sure, we are tired, but oh, we are so happy because bent down is where we find fullness of joy. I think especially with prepping to become a mom this year, this is kind of a whole concept that I'm trying to focus on. It's just learning to to be more patient and have more of that servant heart. But obviously as it goes outside of having children too, there's so many different ways to serve people too. And so I just really enjoyed that quote and I wanted to share it with you guys. Let's reflect on our May goals. These are the things I set last month and I always break them down into work, health, personal, and finances. And for work, I had to post more on Instagram and that I will say that I have done, but it has primarily been because I've been sharing a lot of just pregnancy content lately. And anytime I have something new to share about it definitely ignites the passion to create and have a new source of inspiration so i do find it to be easier but i'm kind of trying to run with that right now because it is nice to have something new to share about i had to be less afraid to try new editing styles this i'm gonna be honest i have not done basically at all because life over the past month has just been kind of messy with prepping to move and there are seasons of life where I find I'm really, really focused on my work with being a content creator that's having, you know, really creative ideas when it comes to creating videos and different things online, but that has just not been entirely where I've been lately. I am hoping to kind of reignite that in June with just sharing more home stuff and all of that, but I will say that hasn't really happened. I had posting more YouTube shorts. I think I did post 
one or two YouTube shorts, but again, could always be better. For health, I had to spend more time outside. <laughs> that too, I feel like I haven't really done. Honestly, in Dallas lately, we've had so many air quality alerts. And to be totally honest, I don't exactly know what that entails, but I feel like you can just see the pollution lately. And so I honestly haven't been spending a lot of time outside, but hopefully those get better. I think especially just being pregnant now, I think about those things more. I'm like, is it healthy to be breathing in this air? You guys can give me your two cents on that. I would love to hear what you have to say. I had more stretching post-workout. That is something that I have been doing. I had stopped picking my skin. This I have been better at. This has been an ongoing goal pretty much all year because my skin with just all the hormonal changes lately has been crazy. But I feel like getting into my second trimester, I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like things are getting a little bit better. So that's good. For personal, I had dressing up more often. I actually feel like I have been doing this because I can't really wear pants as much as I used to because a lot of my pants just don't fit anymore. And so I've been wearing dresses and skirts. I do think that I present myself better. I like my outfit and I feel a little bit more dressed up. So I have liked that. I had church involvement. That is something that we've gotten started on. We've started signing up for things, but definitely want to keep working on that in the coming months i had to start packing to be completed by the last week of may it's the last week of may and we still have quite a bit of stuff around also i do have boxes all behind me the apartment's kind of crazy right now but yeah we still have a lot of packing to do this last week of may i had a weekly date night i feel like we have been doing this aid and i which is great for finances i had to cut out excessive purchases i feel like i have been doing that lately we also have been making a lot of purchases for the house and yeah i feel like there have just been more things to buy recently but when it comes to older stuff I used to spend money on, I feel like I have been better at cutting those out. I then just had to be proactive with accountant questions. I feel like that I've been pretty good at and that is everything for me. June goals. For work, I have to post lots of moving content. I really want to share a lot of the process of just moving, being in a house. I think especially because it's our first time living in a house together. We are so excited and I definitely want to share a lot of that with you guys. I had to book sponsors for July. This is something that I'm trying to be proactive about, especially thinking about when I'm due in November. I want to be in a place when it comes to November that if I want to post content, I totally am able to do that, but I don't have actual kind of deadline responsibilities. I'm thinking right now for at least a month, if not two months, we'll see. But with that, I do want to try to kind of stockpile ahead of then. And so if possible, I want to try to book those kind of sponsorships and just stuff like that a little bit more in advance. Of course, that's not always possible. And November, December happens to be kind of like the busiest month for being a content creator online in terms of sponsorships. So we'll see what that looks like like, but that's just something I want to be mindful of right now. This is under work because technically any kind of content I consider work, but I really want to try to take some beach maternity photos in Rhode Island. I love the look of beach maternity photos. I just think they're so sweet. And I don't even know by that point, cause we're going in a few weeks at this time. I don't know how much I'll be showing. So I don't know if this will be totally possible. If anything, it'll just be Aiden taking photos of me and not necessarily like a professional. We're also going on a little baby moon that'll also be on a beach and so I can also do them then. But I just want at some point to have beach maternity photos because I love the way that those look and I think they're really sweet. I have to get my laptop fixed because fun fact, a while ago I was recording a monthly reset and I actually spilt wax on my laptop and I have been nervous about taking it to get fix because for one, my laptop is a little bit old. I also don't have Apple Care on it. And I have about four keys that are keys that I frequently use that don't work. And so I have to copy and paste them from my notes app. Anytime I type emails, comments, anything on my laptop that I type, I have to copy and paste. It's specifically the U, J, and the M, which is not very convenient. I can't believe I've been doing this for the past few months, but I would really like to get my laptop fixed. But it's also something that I use so much that it's hard to kind of give up to be fixed when I need to use it. So we'll see if that'll be possible. If not June, I would really like to do that in July. For health, I have to be fluid with my workout routine. So this is something I kind of wanted to talk about because I have always wanted to be pretty active throughout my pregnancy, obviously not pushing myself to a level where I am putting a ton of stress on my body. But from what I've heard from other women, it's really, really great in pregnancy to stay active. It's really great for labor too, just to, you know, still exercise those muscles. But we're about to be in a weird kind of season where I've only ever had the gym at our apartment. 
we are planning on getting a gym membership. I don't know when we're gonna get that after moving. And then basically right after we move, we have guests coming and then we're also traveling. And so June is just gonna look like a different month. And two years ago, I would be the kind of person who would be so stressed about this being off my workout routine, not lifting weights, not running regularly, whatever that looks like. But I'm trying to just be more mindful about remembering that other things can also be workouts, things like going on long walks. I've really been trying to walk a lot, stretching, doing like at home workouts, just being more mindful that that too is a great way to exercise my body. And I don't want to put too much pressure on myself to try to get into the gym all the time. And we're also going to be in a really busy season and also moving and we will have movers and Aiden is going to do most of like the unpacking and all that stuff, but I do still wanna be active throughout that too. And that's a workout too. So I do think we're gonna end our F45 membership. That's something that we're thinking about cutting out because we're gonna go to a gym that hopefully has classes. And yeah, at this point, we're just going to the hybrid workouts and the strength days. We don't really go to the cardio days because I don't find HIIT workouts, specifically HIIT cardio to be super beneficial for me, but I do really enjoy the strength classes. So we'll see, I'll definitely fill you guys in on what we end up doing. I had to research birth classes and possibly book one. My midwife encouraged me to do this sooner rather than later. You don't typically actually take these classes until further along, but they do book up pretty quickly. So I'd like to find one that I feel like will be a good fit for us and just get that on the calendar. Get more vitamin D. We have that trip coming up. I wanna spend a lot of time outside. Vitamin D is just so good for me specifically, everyone, but just wanna be outside a lot. I'm excited for that. And then I also had to keep up with my probiotic. That is something too that my midwife has encouraged because your body can just do some wild things during pregnancy. And so it's good to keep up with that. For personal, I had to finish booking trips. I wanna to try to book everything at least by like the end of June, just because it's a lot more affordable not to wait till last minute. But there are a couple things that we're still trying to figure out. And so I'd love to get those on the calendar. I wanna to try to read on vacation. I'm always that person who brings books when I go on vacation and then I end up not reading that much. I either sleep on the beach or just do something else, but I really wanna to try to read. So let me know if you have any fun reads, any like, honestly anything, a book that really captivated you that you enjoyed that's more fiction instead of nonfiction, let me know. I would love to know any recs that you have. This is so random, but I had to pack with packing cubes. I actually ordered packing cubes for the first time because I've seen everyone and their mom talk about them and I'm excited to try them. So I'll let you guys know. I'm probably going to do some sort of pack with me within a vlog or maybe an Instagram reel or something. So present on vacation and also continue making our baby registry. That is something that I'm trying to do slow and steady. Anytime I see someone recommend something or say they really enjoy something, I'll just add it to the registry. And I feel like I've been chipping away at it. It's definitely not anywhere near done, but I would like to finish that sooner rather than later or at least get a lot of stuff on there and then lastly is just to wear less makeup i think in the summer it's really nice to just give my skin a chance to breathe especially being outside just wearing sunscreen and especially when i wear my glow screen specifically i always find i don't feel the need to wear a ton of makeup so i want to keep up with that and then for finances i had to prioritize home purchases that is something that i want to prioritize in our budget because we're at the point that now that we're living in a house all the years on we're pretty much as far as I can expect going to live in a house and so I want to be just purchasing things that we're going to keep for the long term not things that we're going to sell and just be mindful about that and so and lastly I had to use our credit card points for travel when booking those trips because I can't tell you how much money we have saved especially on flights just by using credit card points and specifically the card that we use is the Chafe's the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. And I know that it has a monthly, not a monthly, it has an annual fee to it, but we have found that it has such great benefits. And so I'll link it down below if you're interested. I've never linked a credit card before. And I obviously think credit cards can be used wisely. They can be used not wisely, but I have found that just by, especially using them for those bigger purchases and then paying them off in full has been really good for just building up those credit card points and yeah, they can be really useful. Next up, I wanna go through and organize my calendar. So that is my Google Calendar. That's what I use for anything work-related. I also do have personal stuff on here. I find with doing this kind of job, 
personal and work do kind of blend but for me i like to just lightly kind of color code everything june is a little bit crazy when i look at it and so i just want to go through and organize the best that i can and then also i'm going to fill out this calendar i've already filled out some of this for june i don't remember last time why i've done that already but i like to put in all of our kind of like family dates so personal things vacations appointments that we may have and then i typically just hang this up so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this out too my very sad empty shelf behind me this is one of the things that we have started to pack up but we're gonna do some budgeting next and I've talked about this before but the only thing that I have to share is a template that my husband made years ago at this point it's just a Dropbox file if you need something it's really basic but I know that a lot of the other resources people like people like you need a budget that's one that's really popular and then various just like excel ones that you can purchase from other people i just like to go through here and specifically look at the last month what i feel like we spent too much on what i feel like we can do better on in the next month and just organize all that on a digital declutter i love doing this monthly because i am someone when my desktop specifically gets scattered it just stresses me out so much but especially when i'm editing videos i'll just drag things and throw them on my desktop and not really organize them and so i'm going to go through and just organize that i also want to clear off my hard drive clear out old videos for some reason lately my hard drive has been getting full a lot more recently and i feel like the whole point of having a hard drive especially one that's one terabyte is so i can store a ton of stuff on it and it's getting really full quickly so i feel like i need to look into that and see what is causing that but i'm going to do that i also like to go through my photos on my phone clear things out especially when i'm taking photos for campaigns or anything i have so much extra stuff on here that i just don't need so we're going to go through clear it all out get organized just relax rest easy man you know i still got your back lastly we're gonna make that list of household items and also finish off with prepping for the bookkeeping meeting which always includes just going through my expenses and getting organized for that See if I have any questions, all that jazz. This strong emotion. You know I'm feeling it too. Current favorites. This is my favorite section. I find this to be so much fun because it always reminds me of old school YouTube when you just sit down and do favorites videos that I feel like no one does anymore. First up has been watching movies. I have been on a movie kick lately. I love getting in bed kind of early and just putting on a movie on my laptop and watching movies at night. I know it's nothing revolutionary, but I have been loving it. Watching old movies, watching new movies. And recently I watched The Zookeeper's Wife for the first time and loved it. It is such a heartbreaking movie. It made me cry multiple times throughout it. I would look up the subject matter on it, but the combination of World War II and and also just animals and i just felt such an attachment to the characters and it was so good if you haven't seen it i would definitely recommend watching it truly such a captivating movie i've really been enjoying watching beth grace more on youtube especially just preparing for motherhood and getting tips about babies and everything i love her channel i mentioned her in my first trimester recap video but i wanted to mention her here too because i just think that her content is so peaceful and unassuming and it really has made me a lot more excited i've really been excited throughout this whole journey but i think it can also be really overwhelming just when you're trying to learn and research and figure things out but i always feel just a sense of calm when i watch her videos and she's just such a beautiful person too and she just makes everything look just so fun and inviting and i really 
really have been enjoying watching her videos. Okay, I've also been liking iced espresso drinks from Starbucks. My specific order I will put on the screen. It's kind of a mouthful. I made Aiden order this for me the other day at the Starbucks that he went to and they had to get the manager, which is when you know your order is just a little bit too high maintenance. But when I do the mobile order, it's fine. I usually only do that. I've never actually ordered this in person, but it tastes so good. I like that it has a little bit of decaf too because I'm trying not to go crazy on all the caffeine. But if you like espresso, I definitely recommend it. Granny Smith apples. This is another thing that has been a pregnancy craving for me, but I basically consume a Granny Smith apple a day at this point. Point. I don't know if it's just because they're more sour. I do have caramel that if I'm eating one at night, that's kind of my favorite kind of sweet treat to do right now, but it just tastes so good. It always hits the spot. And I have eaten so many Granny Smith apples in the past month. My Free People jumpsuit that I recently got. I've worn this in so many vlogs recently. It's this black jumpsuit, so comfortable. It's gonna be my favorite for the summer. I already know. It almost kind of looks like a dress when you wear it too. I wore it last night out with friends and my friend was like oh it's such a cute dress I'm like it's actually a jumpsuit which is comfier i'll link it down below but yeah so so comfortable especially for maternity but i would also wear this all the time before too if i had it i also started using some stretch mark products and i know stretch marks are bound to happen i know they're totally normal i'm not necessarily trying to like prevent them or avoid them and i know they're also genetic I don't know if they run in my family. I feel like there's no harm in at least trying something. And so I've been using one from Row Wellness. It's a moisturizer and then it also comes with an oil and I use that just like once a day right now. And I really like them. I like the brand too. Their products are just really clean, have good ingredients. I wanted to share that too. If there are any moms out there interested, I'll link those down below. And lastly has been my air app. If you have been watching the vlogs too, I've shared it quite a bit, but I have had my Dyson air app for a while and I feel like it did take me a while to really get into the groove of how to use it. But now I find that I'm much quicker with it and I just know how to use it so much more. And so I've been using it all the time. It just gives my hair the best kind of blowout look. I actually had done it yesterday. And so this is like leftover. This isn't from right after I got it done. My hair is very, very straight too. So, but I love the way that it makes my hair look, especially right after it's so voluminous. And I just find with my hair type, I've really been enjoying doing that instead of having just super curly hair, having just those light kind of waves. I've really been liking it. I know it can be an investment, the Dyson era, but I have just really been enjoying using it. I think it's great. And that is it for my monthly reset. This is my last monthly reset in the apartment, which I have to admit, I'm kind of excited about. I'm excited to have a new space. It's always nice having a new space to kind of reignite the inspiration. And this new house has just such great natural lighting and so many cute little nooks. I am gonna try to share an empty house tour if I can. We, right now we're supposed to get the keys the day we move in. And so I don't know how that'll work. Our movers are coming at 8 a.m. So I just don't know what the situation is gonna be, but I'm really, really praying that they give them to us maybe a day early so we can get in. I can share it with you guys before moving in. That would be ideal, but either way, I'm so excited to move. You guys know by now and just really looking forward to June. I think it's going to be a really, really beautiful month. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope this video gave you guys some inspiration, just a time to chill out and relax. Yeah, I appreciate you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in my next video.